The primary principle the samurai should keep in mind during daily life is during a state of order, you should consider and prepare for war. And in a time of disorder, you should think for the best way to bring about peace. Forget the following to aid loyal devotion. Wives and children, treasure and properties, your body and your life. Do not forget the following to aid loyal devotion. Determination in loyalty, the name of your family, parents and ancestors. For a bushi, it is essential to comprehend the following primary principle. As you have been born a samurai, you must understand the difficulty of devoting and sacrificing yourself for righteousness and loyalty, and you must value your name highly. The truth is that samurai, just like everyone else, have a fear of death. However, if your understanding deepens, it is not so difficult to enter death. It is possible to die from illness, drowning, fire, to be killed in a moment of rage, or even through lust. Even humble townsfolk and farmers can die such a death. Of course, for those born into a military family, it is natural to die upon the field of battle. Therefore, if you are prepared in full for any destiny, be it glorious or ignominious, and if you are determined upon the above primary principle, then be aware that to die is not such a difficult act. Keep reminding your wife, children, and other family members of the position that you hold, and that all are indebted to the Lord, and if the Lord should order so, you must sacrifice your lives to expunge this debt. Tools for daily use. A katana, a long sword. A wakizashi, a short sword. As mentioned previously, it is desirable that they are well sharpened, so they can cut with ease, and that they have two rivets. Items that should be kept on your person. A quick rope, a set square, a stone pencil, gold and silver, a mirror. Tweezers, a comb, a cloth to clean a katana blade. Powder to clean a katana blade. A sword rivet remover. Medicine for sudden illness and breathlessness, be it for a person or a horse. A fire striker. A wooden taper one or two sheets of paper for the writing of oaths. Be prepared like this when traveling and even during normal times. Although houses, grand plans, reception halls and entrances can all be constructed according to individual preference, samurai do not need to have splendid residences. This is because they may die for loyalty at any moment, and it is wrong-minded to spend a lot of gold and silver on your homestead with the intent of securing a future of a hundred years. However, if you have an enemy or someone who has targeted you for vengeance and wishes to murder you, then if your lord has ordered that you should survive and you must cherish your life, a carefully constructed house may be required. Used as a strategy to kill your enemies, constructing an elaborate house will cause them to underestimate you. Apart from cases where a use of tactics is required, most normal samurai do not have elaborate houses. That being said, having a well-designed appearance is desirable. Know that merchants and farmers tend to have luxurious houses for the need of family business. There are a few things to be aware of when constructing a garden. Do not worry too much about tasteful design or creating handsome views. A master should make sure that the greenery and landscaping have benefits within their layout in terms of defense. It is often the case that gardens are unsafe if they have been designed with too much emphasis on creating beautiful views. Furthermore, there are a lot of things to be aware of concerning both the doors and the paper sliding doors of bedrooms, among other things. When entertaining guests as a host, keep the following in mind. 
If the guests start to fight unexpectedly, make sure to settle the situation so that no one is injured and that the grudges do not form. However, when samurai argue, do not take one side over the other and do not judge which is right and which is wrong. If one side is judged as correct and the other is not correct, then the side judged as incorrect may lose face, and if then forced into peace, this may result in them returning to kill their adversary later on. If present when rumours or malicious gossip about certain people are being spread, then it is desirable to be very discreet and talk with care. Generally, those who gossip and pass on rumours about others are cowards. If being questioned or asked to confirm what has been said, they will often quote examples of other people's faults and state that they did this or they did that. This is because they lack dignity. Even though samurai may sometimes change their words at a later date in order to present an excuse for a misdeed, they should never pass blame onto others for those actions. Improve yourself by considering the above points and know that you should never speak of others behind their backs. If you do say anything about someone behind their back, then you should repeat those words to their face. Also know that those who talk to you about people behind their backs will talk about you when you are not with them. When attending a dinner, give compliments on the dishes served even if you don't like them. When there are samurai among your associates who are ignorant and stupid and talk and behave without thinking, it is essential to keep your distance and know that it is a huge mistake to trick or make fun of them. As they are stupid, they may suddenly threaten to kill you for the smallest of reasons. There was once a case where an ignorant samurai took offence and despite efforts to persuade him that he had taken the situation wrongly, he would not listen and killed the person he thought had insulted him. If you are unaware of a person's stupidity, then it cannot be helped. But if you are aware of it, and still have dealings with this person, then you are also to be considered stupid. In this world, there are many tales of people who have come across mysterious monsters when they have been walking alone at night. However, they are most likely invented. From my childhood, I have heard various stories of this kind, and have dared to walk alone in the middle of the night in the places that are rumoured to be frequented by monsters, but I have never encountered anything mysterious. That being said, it is difficult to conclude that they really are fake, just because I have not seen one. Even if you actually experience such things, it is still hard for a samurai to talk about supernatural beings with any certainty. The people who claim to have seen a monster usually say that it happened when they were out late at night on their own or with one other person on a deserted street. This would suggest that monsters fear large numbers of people, but if monsters truly existed, surely they would show themselves to any number of people. If a samurai believes he has seen a monster, he should be reserved in this matter and not talk too much about it to others. During an earthquake, immediately open the doors and paper sliding doors and get outside. However, if you panic and are too eager to get outside, you might injure yourself. On the other hand, not being fast enough is negligent. Being crushed and killed by a house is a dog's death, so exit quickly. The way to walk in an emergency is called Ashinami. This involves concentrating on the big toe. If all of a sudden an insane person enters through your gate, send him back to his parents or brothers. Generally speaking, if you talk gently to those who are insane, giving them an impression of timidity, their insanity will become more intense. This also applies to people who are violently drunk. Sometimes the person may be one who has been possessed by a fox, but know that these people will not fight those skilled in our school. Fui means anything that happens unexpectedly. For example, fires, earthquakes, rainstorms, gales, thunderstorms, blizzards, floods, fights, attacks by a group of thieves, people running at you in madness, people coming to you for sanctuary, and, and people who have collapsed on the street. There are more than can be listed here. However, in any unexpected situation, it is most likely that you will become confused. Therefore, the first thing to do is to settle your mind before dealing with the situation at hand. If you are unaware of this, 
more often than not, you will lose the initiative because you will feel rushed. Therefore, always calm your mind and be prepared for this type of situation. This is a key aspect of our school. Since old times, there have been three places to which a coup de grace is administered. The first is in the windpipe, the second is in the solar plexus or, or around the heart, the third is in the lower leg. If no coup de grace is given, it is like a death offered by townsfolk or farmers. To cut is undesirable, while to not cut is virtuous. Never shy away from an act of virtue. However, if two samurai have drawn their swords and are about to fight, Sometimes they cannot just sheathe them. When lending either of your swords, say the following. This cuts extremely well, therefore you must use it for a trial cut. Never just say, I will lend this to you without mentioning trial cuts. Place horse droppings inside some paper and wipe it over a blade that has been used to cut someone. This will leave traces of the wiping and the blood will no longer be seen. If there are no horse droppings available to wipe the blade with, use the back of your straw sandals, or soil inside paper. This way is good because it oils the blade. If you do not use this method, you will notice a deterioration in cutting. Here, Uchimono means to be sent to someone at the request of a lord to inform the person of his crime and then to kill him. However, as he is a samurai, he may fight back. Therefore, there are points to keep in mind so as not to fail to make the kill. With extreme rapidity, inform the person of his crime, then immediately strike and finish him. Only afterwards should you say out loud, and for this reason the Lord has asked me to kill you. If you think that you have to explain yourself in full beforehand, it may end in the opponent drawing his sword and fighting back. As all this may be taking place at the criminal's home, be aware that his servants and retainers may join in the fight. Also, whatever the circumstances, do not say the phrase, do you remember that you did commit until after you have struck? It is not good to say it beforehand and then fail to kill the target. Even the smallest amount of crimson blood will look like there has been great bloodshed, and if you are not used to this, the stench of the blood will knock you sick and turn you pale. Something which is inappropriate for a samurai because it suggests cowardice. Young samurai should accustom themselves to the stench of blood by taking any opportunity to observe executions and punishments. Otherwise, they may be reputed as squeamish around blood and therefore unsuited for bloody deeds. When you inform your servants that an order for war gives a specific date for departure, remind them that your fief was given by the Lord, that their bodies and lives are maintained through this, and that repayment can be given during battle. If they forget this relationship and flee, leaving the Lord's service, then make sure that they understand it is equivalent to living as cattle or a horse. Also, tell them if this happens, they will be searched for across all the lands and then executed, and that if they have fathers, mothers and children, that they will too face this punishment. As often as a hundred times a day, the two sides may face off and look as if they are about to start fighting. Do not be alarmed at this. Both sides will advance, and the Ashigaru will move into position and shoot their muskets but more often than not, close combat will not ensue. However, from the moment you step away from home, you should never drop your guard. Sometimes it will seem as if the battle is never going to begin, but events can turn quickly and combat may break out at any moment. It is also said that within three days after taking up a position, volleys of bullets will be shot. Therefore, do not become flustered by this. An army may fire off a volley of paper bullets to show that it has a large number of muskets. In addition, there will be lots of noise, such as the cries of those on night duty, and also goading war cries. This may unsettle the inexperienced. Both sides will face off in formation, which will be followed by an exchange of musket and arrow fire between the Ashigaru 
after which the Ashigaru from both sides will peel off to the left and right. At this point, the samurai will dismount and form a body of men and rush to the advance. Warriors from both sides will work their way to face each other. This stage is called the Yariba, the Field of Spears. Shirushi, taking evidence of who has been killed. This includes taking the head of an enemy soldier after the enemy has been put to rest and chased down. If the enemy is prestigious, take his long sword, short sword or banner as proof and as a way to discover his name. Improper heads. These are also called shirami kubi, lice heads. An improper head is one that has been cut without witness and brought after the Book of Heads has been closed. These may be presented by samurai who have failed to make a kill and take a head during actual combat. The truth will be that they have found someone who has had difficulty in escaping and who has been left behind by his allies. They take this person's head and display it so that people will take note. This is the act of a coward. However, if they have managed to find, capture and behead a good enemy warrior who was hiding with tactics, then this is not a cowardly act, but should be regarded as an achievement. Noses taken from heads in the confusion of a large battle, without a witness to verify the act, are considered to be omnokubi, possible female heads. Such a head cannot be properly judged. It could be that of an ally, a monk or a woman. Good bushi do not engage in such actions. This involves taking the head of an injured person of lesser importance and pairing it with a helmet that has been left behind by a different fleeing enemy. Discovered heads. These are also called shikubi, death heads. If there has been a large battle or even a skirmish, both allies and enemies may be injured and die. Brave warriors tend to leave their kills so that they can move on to kill more enemies. Sometimes other people take these abandoned heads. When you have taken an enemy head in battle, people may approach you as if they are offering to help, but instead they snatch the head and run away with it. When presenting a head, hold it with your right hand while putting your left hand on the cut of the neck. Allow the Lord Commander to glimpse the right cheek of the head and then withdraw to the left. Do not kneel down. The person presenting the head should not look at the face of the Lord Commander, but instead focus on the head itself. The following types of head should not be offered for inspection. Heads with their eyes and mouth open. Malignant heads with flesh, blood or such oozing from the cut. Heads with their tongues protruding. These are called yashin no kubi, malignant heads, and are not the preferred type. For those with their eyes open, pull out the eyelashes and tap the eyes with the handle of your great sword. At this, they will close. For those with protruding tongues, force the tongue back in. Malignant heads differ from other heads taken in battle, as they sparkle with moisture and have an intense look in their eyes, as if they were still alive. Upon returning from a successful campaign with your reputation enhanced, you should hold a celebration just as you did at the departure for war. In such a celebration, all family members, including wives and children, should be gathered together to engage in a drinking party. Achievements that servants have attained should be examined and rewarded accordingly. If any of your servants were killed during the war, track down their offspring and compensate them. Warfare is more dangerous than treading on thin ice in order to see into a deep pool. Therefore, if you return with success and have gained achievement, know that you have unified with Heaven's principle and truly have been blessed by the gods.